Hey everybody! So today we're going to talk about how to set up your Facebook Pixel for Kickstarter. Now, I know I've done a couple videos on this topic already, but it's a quickly evolving landscape where Kickstarter is updating the way things work, and so we're going to talk about the most latest way to do things. Uh, so what we're going to do here is we're going to first, you're going to need a business account for Facebook, and then you're going to need to create an ad account within that business account. Furthermore, a page a Facebook page if you don't have one already, and then a data set pixel. <clears throat> and then you're going to finally connect that Facebook pixel to your ad account so that uh, it, it's all connected there. And then you're going to insert your pixel into your Kickstarter page. Finally, you're going to be all set up and ready to go and then be able to run Facebook ads to your Kickstarter page to collect Kickstarter followers. Uh, now, uh, I have another video on a walkthrough on how to set up those ads, ad campaigns for Kickstarter followers. So check the description below and uh, you'll, you can get great information there on and a walkthrough on how to set that up step by step. So first things first, let's jump right into it. The first thing you need to do, as mentioned, is create the business account. So to do that, you go to business.facebook.com slash create. And this will take you to uh, <clears throat> the creation tool. So you press create an account, follow through with these, uh, these prompts, uh, submit, and then uh, it should take you business settings. Uh, to get to business settings, though, manually you go business.facebook.com slash settings. And then if you have multiple businesses, you click into your business. Otherwise, it should take you right there. Now, is this is going to take you a business suite. This is different from the regular classic business settings, which has a bit more options, and it can make this whole process a little bit less painful. So I recommend going there by going scrolling down on the left here, and then pressing Business Manager, and then go to Business Manager Settings. Okay, so now once you're in the classic business settings, I want you to go on the left here where it's under Accounts, where it says Add Accounts. Click that and you're going to press add and then create new ad account. Okay? And then when you do that, you you're going to, you know, enter in your ad account name, currency, blah blah blah, time zone, and you press next, and then uh it's you're going to follow through the prompts and at the final prompt it's going to ask for you to insert your payment information. You should do that because you're going to need to do it before you can start running ads. So, once you're done there, uh, there's one more step. You press assign people, right? And then you assign yourself full control and anybody, any other partners that you have on your business. Okay, so one, after assigning people here using this button, I need you to next go to pages right above add accounts on the left. And then once again, either uh, create a new page or add a page uh, if you already have one. And you're going to do the same process. Assign people, assign yourself full control. And then uh, off the final step is going to data sources and then data sets on the bottom left there. And then you're going to press, you know, add and create a new data set. You're going to name it. I recommend unchecking this box for this little uh, testing this new 90 day demo. Um, that may not be there by the time you watch this video. In any case, you press create and uh, the next step, of course, assign yourself full permissions. And then I need you to press assign assets right next to assign people there. And then uh, connect your ad account that you just created to this data set pixel. One last step. So uh, when you create a new business, uh, you're going to want to uh, set up all your business information. So you scroll down on the left here to the very bottom where it says business info. And then you're going to fill in your business information there. The reason for that is uh, <clears throat> you're going to probably get capped at a spend limit of $50 a day. And if you have that pre-filled out, it's probably going to streamline the verification process when that happens so that you don't get hit with that limit. Okay, so now that you have the whole your whole business stuff set up, the next thing you're going to need to do is connect your data, uh, your pixel, to... Kickstart itself. And so you'll find under data sets, you go into your pixel, um, and then you'll find the pixel ID right here 
where it says ID number. So you can just copy that to your clipboard, go to kickstar.com, and then go into your, your project settings here. Uh, for instance, let's go into some of these, uh, these projects. And then um, you would go under your build your campaign here on the left. And then scroll down to promotion. And then at the bottom of promotion, you'll find uh, the Metapixel where you can insert the pixel ID. Post it in there, press save, and then exit, you're done. Okay, the next step is we need to set up proper tracking. So if you go back to uh, your business settings here and then go into ad accounts, you can press in the top right, open an ads manager, or you can simply go to adsmanager.facebook.com. Right, and that'll take you to the Ads Manager dashboard. All right, so I'm going to start off here with Adventure Board Games, uh, their ad account. And so the next step is we need to get into the Event Manager dashboard. So we take our mouse to the left and pull out this side menu, go to All Tools, and then Events Manager. Might take a second. There we go. All right, and then on the left, once again, go to data sources, the little triangle there. Uh, and uh, so now I'm in the event manager. And then to get to adventure, I'm going to need to go to this top right drop down here. Let's go to adventure or games. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, and then go to uh, the pixel on the left here. And then we're going to go to settings. See on the top button here, go to settings. You're going to scroll down until you see turn on automatic advanced matching. Turn this on. Once again, under event setup, I need you to turn this on. Now, once you got that done, you're going to press open event setup tool. And what you're going to do here is you're going to go uh, back to uh, the, the thing. Your Kickstarter page here. You're going to copy in your URL. Make sure not to include uh, all this jazz over here. So the, the raw URL, copy that over and submit that. Open the website. And you'll see this event setup tool pop up here. Now, uh, if you are not based in the United States, this event setup tool pop up will not show up. Okay, and so you're going to have to use a VPN and uh, clear your cookies and cash and then open this up uh, and then it should work. Uh, I do have uh, extra steps, which I'm going to put in a comment below. But keep in mind that this is a, a privacy thing. It's a it's a legal issue. So please proceed at your own uh, caution um, and back check with your own lawyer to make sure that this is OK in your country to do. All right. So now that we got that cleared and squared away, what you're going to need to do now is uh, when somebody first clicks, uh, you know, notify me on launch and they're already signed into their, their Kickstarter account, uh, it's automatically going to fire lead event. You see right here on the Meta Pixel Helper plugin, it already fired this lead event when I pressed that button. So that's already covered. However, <clears throat> In any other possible pathway, if the user is not signed in and then they press that and then sign in, it's going to automatically follow and not fire lead event. Similarly, they press the open app button on their phone. The tracking is lost. They press the login button. Um, there's, there, uh, there's just so many different things that the, the tracking is lost. And so we can try to recover that and improve results. So the way we do that, number one, is... If they are not signed in and they press notify me on launch, it's going to automatically follow them after they sign in without firing a lead event. The way we can solve that is by pressing track a URL. All right. And so when we press track a URL, uh, we can launch a lead event. All right. And then just press confirm. OK, so now there is a key caveat here with this uh, thing is that uh, this only works um, on all devices except iOS 17.4 and beyond. 
So if you're having a problem where you're getting a lot of uh, lead events that aren't existing, like they're not actually followers, something you gotta double check is going into your ad manager. And then what you're gonna need to do is press this cool little breakdown uh, drop down and then go to impression device and double check and see if a lot of those are coming from iPhone devices, in which case that's the issue and you need to pull out that tracking. So to do that, you go to all events and then uh, delete that one. All right. Uh, but in 95, 98% of projects, that is not an issue where it's not like super appealing to specifically iPhone uh really uh, the wealthier iPhone users who have the latest iPhone devices released in the last 8 to 12 months. Um, and so uh, that's usually not a problem yet, in which case this is still valid. Uh, the other uh, uh, holes in this is that, like I said, you, if they press the open button on their browser and then um, it, it takes them into the, uh, the phone app and tracking is once again lost. Now, to solve that, you're going to have to hijack the page here to replicate a mobile page. And so what I did there is I'm going to right click on one of these buttons and press inspect. All right. And then this is going to break down the, the HTML for you. And so you double click art there or, you know, whatever text that you're replacing and type in open. Okay. That's all you need to do. And then you're going to press track new button here. Press that and then click open and then press lead and then confirm. All right, so now when somebody presses the lead button or the open button on their, their cell phone, opens up the app, it's going to fire that lead event. And in almost every case, somebody who actually presses that button, they do actually follow the campaign. So another thing that you could do is if you want to make your tracking more uh, robust, uh, and, and optimize more towards Kickstar followers, but it can create extra lead events. So be, be aware of this. You do this once again, you inspect, replace it with log space in. All right. And then you do this and then you press lead, press confirm, and then you're good. Okay. So now we have a couple different events here. We have the URL open button, login button. And then, of course, if they uh, press no find me on launch, it already fires the lead event. So now our tracking system is set up fully. If there's a, if you want to get rid of these uh, extra events that occur, these uh, bonus events or ghost leads, as some people call them, remove the login. Okay, press delete under all events. And then once again, if you're having problem with iOS users, uh, delete the URL tracking. And then at that point, what you would have is the most accurate possible tracking that you can achieve with the current technology that's available to you, which is the open button and then the basic uh, default Kickstarter tracking with the no find me on launch button. All right. So I'm going to set that back up real quick. Lead, confirm, and then track the, uh, the login button here. Once again, lead, confirm. All right, so now I'm going to press finish setup here in the top right, and we're all good. These were the events added, confirm, finish, boom, done. All right. So that's kind of all there was to it. Uh, and now you should be able to track. And once again, I present different solutions here for you to either make your tracking more accurate or more robust and optimized towards Kickstarter users. I find the more robust option with you know, all these different button trackings uh, and the URL tracking to uh, work best with, say, board games, Dungeons & Dragons procs, and video games. If uh, your target consumer is not necessarily Kickstarter power users or people very familiar with Kickstarter, you're going to want to uh, make your tracking more accurate, in which case you just want to track the open button. Okay? And that's, that's all you need to do. The next step, of course, is to start running your ads. So check the, the description below, like I said. 
Uh, and we got another video hooked up there for you on a walkthrough on creating these Facebook ad campaigns for Kickstarter followers. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something new, and I wish you a wonderful day. Take care.